good afternoon, esteemed colleagues. We are starting our next press briefing and uh, we'll be talking about international open tender to renew public space of Kyiv city center with memorialization of events of the revolution of dignity. It's um, about memorialization of the memory of those who were fighting for independence of Ukraine and who died and about how to find a place for such memorial in Kiev. Uh, about that, we'll be talking with Alexei Reznikov, Secretary of the Kiev City Council, and Sergei Tselavalnik, Chief Architect of Kiev. Part of our next was Alex, uh, Alexei Reznikov, the Secretary of the Kiev City Council, and Sergei uh, Tselovalnik, Chief Architect of Kiev. We will speak about the international open tender to rene renew public space of Kiev city center to uh, with memorialization of events of the revolution of dignity. Proszę was. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. All of us, we know that it's a year since the first uh, events of the Revolution of Dignity. That's why every every week now we have some events uh, that happened. And uh, we remember our history. It's a part of our history. And also to understand uh, that Kyiv uh, government is not a side of this. And we care about how to put into memory these events for people who walk here around uh, and uh, Maidan in 100 years, for them to know these uh, tragic events a year ago that took place a year ago and that has changed Ukraine. And uh, to help to understand that it's not only about uh, one uh, one monument or two monuments and where to put them, but a whole project. Uh, and uh, Mr. Tsilovalnik will speak uh, in details about that. Uh, there will be a big uh, project how to uh, put that into memory because events uh, happened in Marinsky Park on Hrushevsko Street and on Institutska Street and uh, in the new part, um, new part uh, uh, near Hotel Kozatsky and on uh, Big Zhitomirsky Street. And uh, people came to the streets uh, with a protest to, to change Ukraine. I would like you to be very attentive to uh, which steps were taken already, what uh, what we will have in the future, and how uh, decisions will be taken, what kind of uh, that uh, memorial uh, will be, who and with whose participation. I will stay here, but the main uh, source of information, Mr. Slovenian, the main architect of Kiev. Uh, key words, uh, Alexei Yurovich told, is that we would like uh, people in 100 years uh, to remember this uh, event from our history, to be noticeable, noticed, and um, for us uh, to have a, a very good sol solution for that. And that's why right uh, after these uh, three days, uh, 18, uh, 19, and 20, and uh, all the revolution that happened with, uh, became just a, a turning moment in the history of Ukraine, but also an event for the whole world. We would like, like in uh, 1830, uh, the second French Revolution, and uh, sounded, uh, there was a picture of uh, Delacroix, and uh, they will show it here, this freedom on uh, liberty on barricades. We have a picture which was taken on Maidan, and uh, a girl with our uh, flag, yellow and blue. It's then we like uh, those events of uh, 1830 not to finish, like these events, these events in Ukraine and to end uh, with uh, like they did in France, the counter revolution and uh, the capture of power. Now we had, we had uh, people who understand and respect this member. We uh, the task was uh, to adequately uh, represent uh, these events. A key word I told about uh, this is a key event uh, for Ukraine because uh, in. Um, Andrei Bolubsky in 1167, who destroyed Kyiv and its defenders, and in 20 and 1240, uh, when Hanbati uh, attacked, and 1944, uh, 43, this is my, in Maidan and Square. So when there was a still war, the architects uh, had the competition to uh, renovate Kreschatik, they were working. And in 70 years, and now this event uh, that uh, took place on Maidan at Pran now, Architects, uh, artists, and sculptors, uh, we have the same reaction to the, but um, to understand it, 
We need to, to uh, think not about a monument, not about small monument, but about a territory of all revolutions. So that's why there are dignitas. Uh, that's uh, the, uh, the name of the competition. So in Ukraine, it's a territory of dignity. And you see how we, uh, with, e uh, with the tears and uh, clumps in our throat, and we um, brought a lot of flowers there to the supplies a competition on the 24th of uh, February. We announced that to all that uh, the Union of Architects of Ukraine, our department, Kiev Organization of the Union of Artists, uh, told that there would be a monument, there would be a memorial, that a territory, and uh, right away we wrote uh, that it will be unusual competition. All of that would uh, take place on the base of a competition. And the competition, not it will not be like under Soviet, Soviet times and uh, under the totalism just uh, somewhere. And it would be an open uh, competition and we received uh, different uh, letters and uh, applications uh, from different cities. Uh, and on the 23rd of uh, April, the Minister of Culture and with a newly new minister, uh, Oneshuk, uh, they signed that is a decision to hold uh, such a competition. And uh, all of that was happening. It was uh, connected uh, to events and everything we had in our heads. We, uh, it was on paper and uh, as a solution. And it was we spoke about uh, a national competition. But then further events uh, showed. Uh, this is the slide which will not show it in time. That. Uh, gave us a chance uh, to announce an international competition. And uh, Vitaly Klitschko told about that during the first meeting with uh, uh, Kievites when he spoke about uh, his plans. And here there was a slide, uh, international competition. We'd, we'd, we took it as a permission. And uh, now, in several days, on the December 1st, and they will we start receiving applications for the competition. We have more than uh, 400 of them, uh, 404. Uh, from 18 countries of the world to the majority from Ukraine, and about more than 50 or 60 applications from abroad. And among uh, known architects, uh, there is such a name as uh, Zakak Hadid and quite a known uh, name. And we think that the competition will take place. But because it is an international competition, uh, there are some requirements uh, to such a international requirements uh, to such a competition. And it says that uh, the time to work on such a facility is not less than three months. So since uh, December 1st, uh, February, until uh, um, December, February 28th, uh, they, will, uh, will, uh, they will speak, uh, they will work on the, on the competition. And we believe that on the 28th of February, when we stop, receiving the works and uh, we'll, uh, we'll start a huge exhibition. You can imagine how many of them there will be. That exhibition will be uh, probably in, in the mayor's office or right on Maidan for people to see the works and to vote. Our group and we organized this uh, competition and moderated and uh, we know how to use uh, uh, how to count votes and um, when uh, the society is working. What uh, makes uh, this competition different from the rest? Um, only in Ukraine, uh, Soviet Ukraine, or independent Ukraine is that it's an open competition and that uh, conditions in the program is written not in uh, some corridors uh, or uh, by professionals, but uh, on the basis of uh, learning opinions and uh, opinions of people brought this was since uh, May 6 uh, to up to November. For half a year, we had real uh, public discussions. In architecture's house, there was um, we had the discussions every Tuesday for t uh, three, four, f four hours. About 100 people came, not only residents, but also there were some uh, people from other uh, cities. And uh, there were students, and uh, there were professors, architects, and uh, absolutely people who have nothing to do with art. But their opinion was uh, processed and uh, considered. We were not just babbling there, but uh, we were collecting uh, an opinions. and. Uh, is uh, pictures uh, of ev from every uh, meet, and we had uh, them only not here, but our moderator went uh, to Lviv and uh, to Dnipropetrovsk, and uh, at the invitation of uh, the 
unions or architects of those from the Swiss people, they asked us to share the experience how to approach such a big event. Now, you see on these uh, pictures how productive that uh, work, uh, was. And uh, we stopped that when we had the work, uh, conditions of a new international uh, competition. We um, we have, um, took volunteers, young boys, uh, who helped uh, to, to translate to English, who helped uh, to make uh, maps, and uh, we collected uh, collected data from scientists who uh, brought the articles uh, to the competition uh, task because there's history, archaeology, and many other things. And um, with this group, which we had different, um, we had some rotation, and but uh, we had a general discussion on Facebook and on the computer. On my done and uh, in other networks, uh, there was an um, expert group uh, of six people was selected, and uh, these experts, and uh, there will be your uh, known people not only in Kiev but uh, the professionals uh, that uh, make all this competition. That uh, these people were not appointed, but they were selected. The majority were selected them. They help every day, every second day. Block D is uh, about to expire. And uh, now we speak about uh, when we bring people's uh, opinions uh, together. It's not just um, uh, um, an artificial event, it's just not a little mon monument about something. Those monuments, uh, they, uh, that's. Uh, th they are, they come up because of uh, until we have a professional image which uh, can satisfy all, and if that that happen that will happen in the nearest uh, months, then we will can we can speak to those people who installed uh, monuments uh, of today. I mean crosses, uh, the those um, stellas. We 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 can uh, discuss how to. Uh, Create order. So there are four nominates uh, in the competition. Uh, it's not the competition of my mon uh, of uh, my monument because uh, there's no place for it. Because uh, you saw this is uh, this is the environment we have. Were, were people fighting for that? No, of course not. That's why, as architect and as a main architect of the city, I told about that, and uh, that was uh, supported. People expressed that opinion that we need to solve um, the environment and the whole territory of Rushevsko Street and uh, European Square and uh, and the alley of um, the Havel Hundred and Independence Square. We need uh, to we we divide it into two parts: uh, Khrushchev and uh, any conversation that it can be a pedestrian area. It's it cannot happen. But how to make it? Uh, maybe we should create uh, above one more level or underground level. One of the nominations that all includes all the territory, and uh, this is. Uh, Oh, for this, you see, we achieved uh, the place uh, of a former Lenin monument uh, because that also we have to solve that that uh, that problem too. People suggested to put uh, the Yaroslav Mutis uh, statue and uh, or something else. I want the society to solve it, uh, like in the competition. Here's one of the nominations. Uh, the next nomination here, you can read that. Uh, and that's um, and the next one uh, is um, memorialization of the events of the revolution of dignity and memorizing the memory of the heroes of Hemingway Hundred. Yesterday there was the monument to Zhiznevsky erected and Metropolitan Sank also blessed the. Uh, cross uh, and uh, uh, you cannot oppose that that is what people are doing but the reconstruction of the whole territory will be the contribution of professionals uh, so everywhere our volunteers who work with us uh, they uh, wrote um, they they basically did everything uh, for describe all this territory. Also in Maidan, uh, 
people who work there, they got all the evidence of all the events uh, of uh, every uh, place who was killed there, and they uh, collected all possible exhibits there. For that, we need the museum, and we are now thinking about where there will be the in museum, the Institute of Memory. Uh, no one likes diagrams, but uh, this diagram is about that in the period of uh, the discussion, I realized and many others uh, realized that our people are very tolerant. Uh, you see, uh, looking at this percentage, when we asked the question and started to discuss who we will put this uh, um, monument to, to 108 uh, people who, of the heavenly 100, 40% uh, say that uh, to all who uh, were killed at Euromaidan, 32%, no, no, so, sorry, uh, to all participants, to those who were killed, wounded, who uh, were are uh, alive and 32 say that to those people who were killed on both sides and only 16 percent are talking that this is should this should be the memorial to the heroes of heavenly hundred for me not everything is clear here but these are the facts which we reflected the effects of public discussion what is happening in this competition that uh, shows what is the situation in our society because people were not forced to discuss. People came because they were interested. And, um, well, can you read it? I will not read it. Everything's clear. And um, another nomination is the third nomination. Where will we place the Institute of Maidan, the Museum of Maidan. And uh, there's an idea that this will be the Ukrainian house at Europeiska Square. It is quite characteristic that I had doubts in the beginning because this is the territory uh, which is uh, owned by the state uh, department uh, 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 and uh, now the leadership of this institution, uh, they contacted us and they interested uh, in uh, uh, using this uh, house uh, for implementing the dreams of people. The fourth nomination is the museum, which will be either there or on the territory which is higher than the uh, October Palace uh, on the place of the former exhibition hall. There are some ideas uh, about that place. Uh, I would like to explain so that you um, understand why this hasn't been uh, uh, decided yet. And I did not mention the House of Trade Unions uh, and Krishatik Five. Uh, they are all uh, on this territory. They all have the traces of the events of these three days. We take three days as the main event. But every one of these uh, uh, places has a known and we'll have to work with them. And I believe that it was quite symbolic that at least three owners, they themselves came to meet with me to express their desire to participate in the competition and also to participate in uh, implementation of uh, a project. Everyone uh, is uh, concerned uh, uh, about what will happen to Maidan because under Maidan there are these uh, Globus facilities and people came and they brought the architects from Netherlands and we told them what we are concerned with because the roof of their building is Maidan, I saw absolute understanding uh, on their part and they took our papers uh, 
and I believe that we will receive some proposal from them. Also, the representative of the owner of the building of uh, Ukerkov Spilke came to us, the building which is opposite the House of Trade Unions, and they also ready to reconstruct the building. And um, uh, they are looking for the architects, uh, for serious architects, not just Ukrainian, but uh, also foreign maybe, and they are ready to unite efforts with us. It would be ideal if all those uh, teams of owners, if they get united, then this will be, well, basically about the center of Kiev, and that is where we would uh, exactly know the place where the monument could be erected, not everything which should be prepared for that. To put a monument today in the environment where there are not just these kiosks, but where there are all these uh, uh, sculptures and the column which uh, um, is uh, a memorial, but that does not uh, uh, help us uh, to um, in the situation when we are thinking about where to put another monument. And we received, you see this number of applications, 404 applications, 18 countries of the world and more than 60 foreigners. Uh, the Polish person uh, was one of the first, uh, he wrote a letter, he says, I understand I'm not a citizen of Ukraine, and uh, he uh, asked uh, whether he can participate in this uh, competition, and we, having tears in the eyes, believe that, uh, yes, he can. So the international competition requires three months on the 20th of uh, uh, February, we will uh, open the envelopes and we'll organize the exhibition. This will be the exhibition which will be held either in the mayor's or in the municipal uh, council or in some other uh, buildings. And after the discussion, the open discussion, at that time the jury will be working. We will have the international jury. We do not know who. This is all defined by voting. After that wide discussion in Kiev, we want it, uh, and I believe people support us. We want this uh, exhibition to travel to at least four cities, Dnipropetrovsk, Kharkov, and Odessa, uh, and even the works which uh, locally were made for their cities can uh, be also can also participate in this exhibition. By the 30th of May, we believe we will um, have the results, uh, and then how we will uh, implement only, I believe, all together, because if the decision is global and very uh, expensive, then we will be trying to do it part by part without forgetting the general picture, because otherwise we can do it like it's done, uh, all these monuments on the places of the car accidents, the monument we want to erect, the whole complex should be so that uh, people uh, believe in uh, the future. And that is uh, why these heroes uh, gave their lives. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Thank you for coming to us as a chief architect of Kiev. We were looking forward to having you here because there's a big interest of the public uh, as to how Kiev should change uh, in relation to the latest events in Maidan. My question to you is. It's a wonderful initiative that uh, you you hold this uh, transparent, open uh, competition. You give a uh, suggestion uh, to all, open door to all the talents. How what's, uh, What is the idea behind in, inviting international professionals to send their ideas? Because Maidan is something very Ukrainian, very special, that pains 
Ukrainians, people who pass through Maidan, they know the story of Maidan. We working in Ukrainian uh, media center, we face an issue that uh, a lot of foreigners don't understand Maidan. They don't understand the the tragedy, the greatness of these events uh, that took place in Ukraine during those 90 and more days of Maidan. How people who don't understand the, those events, how they pro can provide their uh, proposals? The first part. How we came to that? And why foreigners? I told that uh, a Polish uh, architect, uh, he, that was his idea, his letter. And I believe that uh, we touched this issue many times, and that ev the events was not just Ukrainian. You remember I showed you that De, De La Croix and the freedom of um, the liberty on barricades. It was a French event and they turned to all Europe, all the countries of Europe, though uh, counter-revolution want for us, uh, for our counter-revolution to win, we want that event to be governed in an, an international di diaspora. In many countries, uh, it's Ukrainian. It was not indifferent. We speak about Ukrainians. It's not indifferent to these events. But if you remand, you remember my dance were well, in many countries of the world. It's uh, all over the world, even Australia, those revolution days. I don't speak about all uh, 90 days. I speak about three. That's uh, something which should go through our history um, from the past to the future. And uh, how the second point, whether they will understand or not, uh, why we are not in a hurry. Because it's uh, we have it in English. and. Um, History, archaeology, it was not uh, taken just uh, from textbooks. It uh, witnesses uh, of a discussion, archaeologist uh, Duk, and he understands why he writes about these events. And uh, we have a, a task for uh, designs, uh, thick as like this. ABC parts we sent uh, to since uh, the first uh, December 1st, like uh, plants and some graphic materials uh, which require uh, to be processed, and uh, uh, that will be after that. And using this uh, opportunity, I wanted to mention that now, after um, this sounds a new program, and also after international level, it's, uh, for me, it's uh, absolutely clear There will be a lot of those uh, who wanted to participate, and but the competition is over. We decided in public that we will do, do this because these uh, correct uh, those who uh, provided uh, in time. They will work for three months. For those who want to participate in the competition, they should understand that they uh, they will participate in the competition. We allow them to do that, but they will they will that time that the deadline will be uh, the same for all, and we believe that. And there will be more participants. Uh, again, we don't, we don't, we don't, we should not consider this event as just a Ukrainian event. Uh, we are quite a European nation. I don't want to give you. I don't want to tell you about our influence on the history of Europe. So we deserve uh, all the world to participate in this. Uh, any other question? There is a question. There was uh, a news which um, stirred, or at least surprised, many of us. A statement, uh, Mr. Boyko, a representative from uh, of uh, utility enterprise Kiev Investments that in Kiev Council, back yet they will build a new office, a new building, and uh, instead of all the utilities uh, buildings in Kiev, is it true? Because it's um, we close the, uh, that uh, topic and we start answering uh, to this. Vitaly Boyko, uh, he means, he speaks about what Kyiv uh, Investment Agency is uh, planning. And that is uh, probably the most uh, correct uh, municipal uh, building should bring, bring in, in investments and should think about municipal property. And uh, our Kyiv Council, it's a municipal building. 
he means he speaks about uh, those things we discussed in the past, and, uh, and I feel pity that uh, that we don't have uh, financial support to the idea which was brought uh, to uh, from Georgia after the revolution. The idea was uh, that uh, to to make uh, uh, max. That's the main point uh, to open uh, the city council of Kiev to people as much as possible for us not uh, to have. Uh, uh, three three checkpoints and uh, for people to to, to come and, and um, we had meetings with representatives of different of uh, Georgia, own God country, and we consider seriously considered uh, variants. Even though it's not uh, just a competition, but uh, sketches. And um, there was one Macarian American, very good uh, architect, and the idea was. We didn't speak about anything powerful, anything, anything big, but maybe from on the left and on the right, and maybe there could be reception offices uh, on the left and on the right. And in the backyard, there could be some additional house which would provide services to two people. As for the concrete uh, uh, facility, concrete uh, contract and uh, concrete project, and nobody's talking about that. That's an idea, one of many ideas. It would be good. But it would be better than uh, what Mr. Arbuzov uh, suggested uh, on Bermuda on uh, to place uh, all, all not only all uh, offices there. That reminds me about events of uh, September 11. Other questions? Uh, no. Thank you very much. We have some other speakers, and uh, thank you very much. We'll. We we will be looking.